Hi everyone, uh, we will uh, explain the dynamic collapse of the airways and how it is manifested on the ventilator scalars and loops. But let's first explain what is a dynamic airway collapse. Normally, there is a dynamic airway collapse characterized by bulging of the posterior membrane inside the airway lumen. The cartilages are intact and airway narrowing during expiration is usually less than 50% as compared with inspiration. Now, excessive dynamic airway collapse is caused by excessive bulging of the posterior membrane. This leads to greater than 50% reduction in airway lumen during expiration compared to inspiration. In severe dynamic airway collapse or in crescent type tracheomalacia, airway collapse is caused by weakness of the anterior wall, which leads to airway narrowing during expiration. Now on volume flow loop, you can see the sudden drop in expiratory flow followed by the plateau phase. These findings characterize the airway collapse pattern. Now on the CT scan, you'll be able to appreciate complete collapse of the lower trachea during expiration compared to inspiration in this area here. You can also see that on the dynamic bronchoscopy that reveals similar finding, findings and confirms that the collapse is caused by flattening of the anterior tracheal wall which characterizes the crescent type tracheomalacia. So on the scalars, what you see is on the flow over time curve, you can see the sudden decrease in the flow and then the plateau phase of the flow. You may be able to appreciate some persistent flow at the end of expiration, which lead to auto peep. And on the flow volume, which is reversed from this parametry, you can see the de sudden decrease in the flow to the plateau phase. Similarly, in this patient, you can appreciate the sudden decrease in the flow in early expiration as a result of the dynamic collapse of the trachea, followed by the plateau phase where the flow continues gradually. However, there is not enough time for complete exhalation, so the patient develops autopeep or dynamic hyperinflation on top of the dynamic collapse of the airway. And you can appreciate the trapped volume on the volume over time curve, where this area represents the amount of air that was trapped into the lung. I hope I was able to explain the dynamic collapse of the airways and how it is manifested on the ventilator scalars and on the flow volume loop. Thank you.